Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here. Let's talk about it. I, I get all kinds of questions. I'm inundated with questions about synthetic oil. Should I run synthetic oil or I'm running synthetic oil or I have engine noise or I have oil leaks, that kind of thing. So let's just talk about it now. Um, I'm not being brand, sorry. I'm not being brand specific or anything like that. These are just the examples that I had. This is Mobile One synthetic oil. Um, and this is just regular standard conventional oil. Now, there's the first thing I want to say is 90% of synthetics that are out there are not full synthetics. They are blends. In other words, they have regular oil mixed with synthetic oil and that makes them special, okay? So most of the synthetic oil that you're getting out there is not fully synthetic. This Mobile One is fully synthetic, but a lot of them that are out there are only partial synthetics. As far as high mileage engines, as far as like you just bought that 92 camera, you're really proud of it, you want it to last forever, so you start running synthetic oil in it. Well, what happens? Well, maybe one of two things. Number one, you might start to notice that the engine gets noisy. <laughs> and you're wondering why, because you're using the correct viscosity. Both of these are the, the same viscosity. You're using the correct viscosity, but you know, for some reason your engine starts to get noisy. Another thing you might notice is oil leaks, where you didn't have oil leaks before. The reason for this is, is synthetic, although it be the same viscosity, has a different flow, flow characteristics than conventional oil. And as a result, it tends to slip through smaller spaces. So those oil leaks that you didn't have before, you have now because this stuff will slip right through that smaller crack, whereas conventional oil will not. Same thing with the engine noise. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to the oil pressure video so that you know you have a basic idea of how oil pressure works. And oil pressure is not created by the pump. It's actually created by the clearances between all the moving parts of the engine. So if you use a different flow characteristic oil in an older engine, those clearances might seem a little more sloppy because this stuff just flows through there more. So your engine might get noisy. So I'm, I'm trying to give you, this is a cautionary tale. I'm just, I'm trying to, I have, like I said, all kinds of things on the forum where people are trying to do good by their engines by using th synthetic oil. Now, what are the benefits of synthetic oil? I would say the number one benefit is you can extend your oil changes. So instead of doing them at like say four or 5,000 miles, you can do them at seven, 10,000 miles. Some engines call for synthetic oil right out of the gate. I can think of like uh, Corvette, the, the um, LS1 engines, things like that. I, I, I can't remember, it was like back in the 90s they started saying that Mobile One was what they wanted you to run in it and that's what it was. I also think uh, the Acura RDX, the turbocharged Honda engine, they also want you to run fully synthetic oil. There is a time and a place for synthetic oil, but let's face it, it's more expensive than conventional oil. And for some reason there's the, there's the mentality that if you're spending more money on your oil, it's actually better. Well, in this case it's not, and, and this is what I'm trying to save you from. As far as oil is concerned, the only thing you really need to concern yourself with is this right here. This is the API service donut, as it's, as it's sometimes called. And this has a service rating of SN, that's the latest. Now, I mean, they, they go all the way back and they come out with a new formulation every once in a while, like that used to be SJ and now it's up to SN. But basically, it doesn't matter if it's cheap oil like this, if, as long as it's got this service rating on it, the API is the American Petroleum Institute. They put their stamp on this and they say, well, somebody put the stamp on the sticker and put it on here. And they say that this oil is good enough. And as far as the engineers that design engines, they go by this too. They talk to the American Petroleum Institute and they say, or depending upon where you are in the world, there, there's some sort of standards and they put this on the oil bottles. In fact, even on this guy here, you've also got it here. So SMCF. So these, these uh, synthetics have different ratings than conventional oil. But my point in all this is, personally, I don't spend a lot of money on oil. I mean, that there are, to the, to the more expensive oils, they, they do have more additives, they do have more detergents, they do have more wonderful things that they put in there to justify the expense over what you'd find in a cheap bottle of oil like this. However, I'm of the opinion that if you change your oil on a regular basis, conventional oil on a regular basis, you're just fine. You don't really have to worry about it. You don't, have to, you don't have to run synthetic oil. You're only doing that because that makes you feel better in most cases. Now, unless you check your owner's manual. If your vehicle calls for synthetic oil, by all means, use synthetic oil. If it doesn't cause, call for synthetic oil and it's older, you might want to save yourself some trouble and not use it. That's, I, I look forward to your comments. In fact, I want to put a link in the description to a forum discussion about this very thing. 
But I'm making this video to address something that this has come up over and over and over again. And I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from spending more money to possibly create oil leaks in a noisy engine. That's where I'm at. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me, ericthecarguy.com. Link in the description. Uh, also, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. And I close with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. See you later.